who's still up? Those Skittles? I don't like Skittles, bro. So you know what? Uh, hey, that's bitch. all over the place. Huh. What, what happened? Make so much so my gear like they did with the Jersey Devils last week. Oh, oh, all right. Speaking of the Jersey Devil, let me ask you, you're a little closer than I am, but what's going on with his little, uh, I don't know if it's a mental breakdown or, or something, man, because he comes out last week thinking it's 2003. Jersey's not in payback. We got our ass kicked by payback last week. I saw Jersey go through you through a table. I got a mafia kick with a chair in my face. No, I'm okay here now, but thank you, though. I like Reese's Pieces, and, 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 and I just remember leaving hurt. I mean, what's going on with Jersey? Is he around? What's happening? Yeah, he's pretty confused because he lost his Britney Spears CD. <laughs> Britney and, Spears. And then he got that beaten down by the payback. Yeah. You know, you know they're gay, they're gangsters, whatever. Gangsters, yeah. And he's still confused about this whole thing, but he's got the week off. All right. He'll be back next week. All right. At least I think. And it's weird because we have the same medication, and... I, his was different than I took my medication. Medication, pill time, right, Rocker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it was my pill time, it would be taking some what, good what stuff. What? What? What's up? They stole my water too. If I had more leprechaun piss, I'd help no, you out. No, no, no. I'll just chew what Jersey did last week. I don't think it's a good idea, man. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm just saying, chewing them might be kind of hard. Water makes it go down easier. Yeah, spit it out in one, two. Mmm. Mm, what do you mean, mmm? These are delicious. Delicious? Mm. What? If I remember correctly, you, like, you, they were bitter, they, they tasted horrible, but you spit it out last week. I don't know, but these ones are like. God sent them from above to me, man. What? <laughs> God sent medication? What? All right, all right. Well, besides your tasty medication, I have a little proposal for you. Jersey's not here, okay. but he wanted us to get revenge for what happened last week. We got our ass kicked. That's not how we, that's not how freaking asylum rolls. Freaking asylum, dynasty, we got all the gold. But right, he'll be back next week. Alright, that's fine, that's next week. I'm talking about this week, Rocco. I got a proposal. What do you say? Instead of freaking asylum, I got two words for you. Okay? Okay. Oh, yeah, I got it, I got it. Peanut butter cup. Oh, no, 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 no! Reese's Pieces. Oh, even better! Peanut butter cup, Reese's Pieces, Sunday! Peanut. That's like eight words, but I don't care. Uh, well, besides that, that sounds good. I'm talking about freaking Hellraisers. You remember that, man? We, we were pretty good back in the day. Uh, we were almost undefeated, and, and when Jersey got him, he gives us a chance to team up again, just like the old days, man. We'll be better than before. Freaking Hellraisers, it'll be great. It never happened! I don't remember teaming up with you. I don't even know what this freaking Hellraiser scene that you're talking about is. What are you? Freaking Hellraisers, man! Me and you! Last no, 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 I don't remember! I don't remember this! I'm... Please, freaking Hellraisers! No, 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 you're pretty Hellraisers. You're crazy after you I think you lost your Britney Spears CD, too! Bring that! I got what? What? Instinct City? Who is? No, 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 no freaking out! Oh, no, oh, all right, Rocco! All right! Oh. Oh. Come on! Come on! Bring anything else? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> I just you in a while. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting week of WAW Aftermath here on WAWWrestling.com. The Eagles of Justice making their way out towards the ring to kick things off this week, marching their way out with the American flags, coming out to American Smiles, Eagle of Justice, courtesy of KeepItTrucking.com. These two men are coming in here tonight to do battle with Todd Sokol and Skylar Phoenix in a tag team contest in two non-televised matches last week here on Aftermath. Wow. In any event, moving back to what I was saying, um, Sage just did something rather uh, interesting there. 
in any event. Last week in non-televised contest that took place at this aftermath event, the Eagles of Justice lost two singles matches back to back and Sage made the challenge to a tag team contest this week and Todd Sopo and Skylar Phoenix, the unlikely uh, duo, actually accepted the challenge and they are gonna team up once more here tonight. Todd Sopo saying, abandon me and I will uh, break your neck. And Skylar Phoenix doesn't seem to really care if uh, Sopo tries to break his neck or not because those two men will have a rundown in the Apocalypse Tournament coming up in just about two weeks. Todd Sobel getting booed by the fans in two weeks. Todd Sobel and Skylar Phoenix will be opponents in the Apocalypse Tournament. The final of the quarterfinal matches. Our second one is coming up here tonight. It will be Major Morpheus Morency against Kevin Chaos. And next week we will see former Team FO teammates and two men who will team up here tonight, Sin and FO, do battle in the Apocalypse Tournament next week. Kind of a surprise here. Skylar Phoenix getting cheered by the fans here this week here on Aftermath. Skylar seems to even like it a little bit. But we're going to see ourselves a tag team contest here to kick things off this week on Aftermath. Skylar Phoenix and it looks like James Bergeron Fox will start this match. So let's see if Skylar Phoenix and Todd Sobel can coexist. Looks like uh, Sobel's already having a great time in the corner. Skylar Phoenix gets knocked down by Sage and the Eagles of Justice take an early advantage here in this tag team contest. Very important to get that first opening advantage because sometimes the first side to get that advantage may never let it up. And we got a shoulder block takedown by Skylar Phoenix. So much for never letting up on that advantage thing. Skylar Phoenix has already taken the advantage on the Eagles of Justice, James Bergeron Fox. And Todd Sobel tags in, slapping the back of Skylar Phoenix, and he just kind of shrugged it off and get out of the ring. Kind of surprised there. I thought Skylar, the hothead that he can be sometimes, might have taken offense to that. Todd Sobel now under the back of James Bergeron Fox and gets him with a chin buster and a standing in Seguri takes down James Bergeron Fox. We got a cover. We got two from the masked ref and we only get two as James Fox races up that shoulder at the last second. Sopel now looking for a tag. Skylar didn't want to give it to him so Sopel just smacked him on the chest and Skylar Phoenix is legal again. Skylar Phoenix hammering away at James Bergeron Fox. I think we got a tag there by Sage who came in with an eye rake right across the, the eyeballs of Skylar Phoenix who was just DDT'd right down to the mat. Uh, Sage's anger has just been kicked up about, I don't know, 25 notches in recent weeks. He's just been on fire, always angry. I mean, he was always angry before, but never like this. We got a standing suplex there by Skylar Phoenix. And that anger ain't getting Sage nowhere right now as he is down on the mat. Well, he was down on the mat. Now he's up on his feet, being brought all around by Skylar Phoenix. And we're about to see the DDT there by Skylar Phoenix, hooking that one arm and dropping down. Modified DDT, one arm is in a hammerlock position behind the back and one arm is hooked by Skylar Phoenix and we got slingshot off the rope. Skylar hangs on and drops a leg across the throat. Skylar now pushed off, getting knee right into the kidneys by James Fox. And then we got a sidewalk slam by Sage dropping down Skylar Phoenix. Sage makes a tag to James Bergeron Fox, and Fox now going to come into the ring. Double team effort here by the Eagles of Justice. Double Irish whip. Wait a second. No. Oh, chop blocking out the knees of Skylar Phoenix. I thought we were going to see ourselves a double Irish whip into something else, but instead the Eagles just brought him right back and took out the legs of Skylar Phoenix, who could use a tag to Todd Sopel. Sopel kind of looked like he was there for the tag. I mean, who knows? I really hope Skylar beats Todd Sopel in a couple of weeks anyway, just so he can shut up about not being pinned and not being submitted. It's really getting tiring. Oh, look at that. Todd Sopel moving his hand for the tag. 
Telling Scarlet Phoenix he can kiss his ass. I mean, who didn't see this coming with these two? We knew somebody was going to abandon the other. We got a roll up here by James Fox. We got a cover. Oh, we almost had three. And Sopel seems to be upset that his uh, ditching of the tag didn't make Scarlet lose the match. Wait a second, Sopel sending a chair into the ring, grabbing the attention of the masked referee. Scarlet Phoenix being held by Sage. Here comes Fox. Oh, hit Sage right in the head with that steel chair. Fox now has that chair going after Phoenix, except he gets it cracked right into his skull with a super kick by the Phoenix. We got a cover. We got three. And Skyler Phoenix picks up the victory for his team. And there you go, Sopel quick to celebrate winning a match even though he had nothing to do with the outcome. That conceited bastard. Skyler Phoenix winning the ring of one Eagle of Justice. Now it looks like he's about to try and get rid of the other. Kick Sage in the stomach and sends him out of the ring, out to the floor. Hold on, guys, hold on, guys, hold on. We're about to see a three on one, except the Eagles of Justice fool Todd Sopel and head out, and he hits the mass trap before getting that stop sign knocked right into his face by Skylar Phoenix. The tag team match is over, but it looks like we're gonna see ourselves a little bit of brawling between the two guys who just teamed up. Looks like Skylar Phoenix is about to give Sopel his receipt for ditching on the tag. I mean, who can blame him? I think Todd Sopel's just jealous that Scarlet Phoenix may be the guy that can actually beat him with a pinfall or with a submission, and that makes Sopel pissed, that makes him angry. Because the problem with Todd Sopel is he's too good for his own good. And he knows it. He knows he's a great talent in the ring. He knows he's got great skills in that ring, but there is one man right now that could knock him off that perch, and it's Skylar Phoenix, and that pisses Sopel off, and he's showing it right here. He's been showing it in recent weeks that he is threatened by Skylar Phoenix. Oh, said Todd Splash, right across the chest. One of the most devastating centaurs we've seen in recent history. Todd Sobel now grabbing a ladder. Oh yeah! Do a day 2005, bitches! No fucking tender! Sobel now heading back into the ring with that ladder. And he's setting it up in the corner. What could we be about to see here from Todd Sobel and Skylar Phoenix? And these two men are going to meet in two weeks here on Aftermath in the Apocalypse Tournament. This is kind of a preview except with weapons as Todd Sobel goes into the ladder back first. Could Skylar Phoenix get that win in a couple of weeks or will Todd Sobel make him shut up? I personally think that Skylar Phoenix stands a very good chance, especially considering what we're seeing here. Phoenix is dominating Todd Sopel, and he didn't swing that ladder at him, and he didn't swing that chair at him. He's just making use of his environments, and he's beating the living crap out of Todd Sopel. Phoenix now swinging with that chair. He misses, knocks it right up into his head, and he is now down across the chair. Oh, leg drop right across that chair. Skylar Phoenix going forehead first, right across the seat of the chair. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got a little bit of blood flowing out of his head now. There's an outside chance it's gonna happen. Looks like he got lucky on that one. No blood for Skylar Phoenix. Todd Sopel now climbing up the ladder and Phoenix is on his feet with that steel chair. Hitting Todd Sopel right in the stomach with it. Oh, he's hooking the arm. Brings him out. Oh, down across that chair. Todd Sopel could have broken ribs. Thanks to Skylar Phoenix. Skylar Phoenix now laying out that steel chair. What is he gonna do here? Watch 
see a sky fall? Yeah. He's asking the fans if they want to see a sky flow. They say yes, and he delivers a sky flow onto the equalizer, Todd Sopel. He's going for the cover. He counts the three. Skyler Phoenix, it's not official, but he just got a three count on Todd Sopel. If it was official, Todd Sopel's winning streak would be over right now, but I'm sure Todd Sopel will run around in the next couple of weeks say, he didn't beat me, he counted his own pin, there was no ref, it's not official. Come on, we. Now it's on videotape, buddy. He got a three count on you, official or not. He did get the three count. Skyler Phoenix and Todd Sopel will meet head to head in the Apocalypse Tournament coming up in two weeks. But ladies and gentlemen, the action here this week on Aftermath continues coming up next. Stay with us.